Hey guys, in this video I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough how to replace the engine mounts on the uh, Alfa Romeo Spider. Uh, I don't have the process filmed, I was short on time, but uh, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough while everything's still fresh in my mind. Uh, it sounds intimidating, but it doesn't take a lot of tools and uh, you can do it as I did it on, actually on this parking lot. So here's what it takes. You're going to need a 13 and 17 millimeter uh, ratchet and uh, 13 and 17 millimeter wrenches and uh, let me tell you this right away if you happen to have a ratcheting wrench it's gonna save you a lot of time worth like probably about an hour uh, also this uh, little block of wood I'll show you later a uh, big block of wood to put under your engine under the oil pan and of course jack and jack stands First thing to do is take the fan shroud off. I still haven't put mine back in uh, because uh, once you start lifting the engine, you're gonna either break the fan shroud or the fan. So that's first thing you want to do. Uh, second, uh, I would uh, I would start on the driver's side because it's easier and you'll have better idea what to do. Uh, you can uh, take the air box off. It only takes a it only has like three screws and that'll give you plenty of room to get to the engine mount okay once you took the fan shroud off put the car on the jack stands and uh, place the jack uh, take this block of wood and place it all the way across the oil pan put the block of wood there and uh, place the jack closer to the driver's side so that you so that you're lifting like the driver's side of the engine it's gonna it's gonna make a job a lot easier for you so this is the driver's side engine mount I have uh, two balls on the, uh, that go to the chassis and three balls uh, that go to the engine block you can access three out of those five balls from above and uh, two uh, two balls you have to go under the car now the only thing that might happen is uh, this rubber uh, on, on the old engine mount is probably pretty worn and it's uh, and it's distorted and you might have to lift the engine just a bit uh, to get access to to the bolt that's uh, on the lower side but it's not a problem just uh, slightly lift the driver's side engine from the driver's side and it'll give you enough clearance to get to that Okay, once you lifted the engine, you can uh, take this little block of wood and uh, let me see if I can crawl under there. Alright, there it is. You can uh, take this little block of wood and jam it in between the engine and the frame. It's gonna... You know, it's for extra safety. It doesn't hurt. Okay, once you loosened up all the bolts, uh, start lifting the engine. Uh, take it easy, but uh, you have to lift it for about two or three inches. You're gonna need extra clearance uh, once you're putting the new one in because it's that much taller than the old one. So lift the engine, take this thing out, wiggle the new new one in. Uh, the only tricky part here was to align this very last bolt. It's actually the first bolt that you see right there. Uh, trick for that if it doesn't align you can uh, slightly lower the engine uh, place the jack more towards the passenger side and lift it and that trick uh, worked for me uh, the engine aligned perfectly and uh, tighten back everything tighten everything back down and uh, that's it that's you're done with the driver's side now going to the passenger side okay so next thing you're gonna go back down you're gonna move the jack uh, you're gonna leave the block of wood all the way across but you're gonna move the jack towards the passenger side and you're gonna start lifting the engine on that side believe it or not you can do this without without removing the intake so on the passenger side there's one extra thing uh, it's right there it has this bracket it uh, goes from the engine mount and it's holding the intake so you're gonna need extra pair of hands here 
once you get once you're about to remove that bolt that holds the bracket you're gonna need somebody to either put some pressure on the intake or or lift it up depending on what you're doing uh, you'll get the idea once you get down there so the same thing uh, like a couple of my free bolts are accessible from the top uh, the rest of them from the bottom and uh, this is where if you have ratcheting wrenches they're gonna they're really gonna pay off here because you have a lot less uh, space to work but still it it can be done uh, one thing I forgot uh, I don't have the usually this car originally came with a uh, with the oil pan guard which I'm missing on this car so uh, needless to say I'm gonna have to take this off as well same thing if uh, that last bolt won't align uh, move the jack slightly towards the driver's side this time and that should align the engine uh, should align that last hole and that's pretty much it now go and uh, enjoy the clearance and smoother ride if you have any questions or comments leave them below and um, i hope this video was helpful thanks victor out